Full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals are on our website at ulo.co.uk. The first day of the Punchestown Festival, at headquarters, and there will be plenty of top-class national hunt racing on the wide expanses of this track for the rest of the week. Tuesday could not get the week off to a better start, with three grade ones on the main menu and a listed contest as a entree. Gordon Elliott can land the opener with the Smart Party Central, who should have the upper hand over the two Willie Mullins mares. Henry D. Bromhead should get a return on day one with Bob Alinjar, in the champion novice chase, while goodbye Sam has to bar a solid bet over the Banks course. But Willie Mullins, champion trainer once more, holds all the aces for the first day of this festival. Sir Gerhardt has to the one to follow in the champion novice hurdle. A fascinating race in prospect between the two Clossutton inmates, Sir Gerhardt and Dysart Dynamo. We gave Dysart Dynamo for the Supreme Novices hurdle on the opening day of the Cheltenham Festival, but he looked held when falling three out, with the hugely impressive Constitution Hill just getting into his stride. However, preference is for Sir Gerhardt, winner of the Ballymore at Presbury Park, who should find the drop back in trip right up his street as he can race keenly. Banker bet. It's Willie Mullins once more that is almost guaranteed to take the champion chase title, with Enajumian and Shakin Pourcoix leading the betting, and a forecast on those two looks a giveaway bet. The enigmatic Shakin Pourcoix is a poor traveller, so return to familiar climbs has to be the one to beat in this top-class renewal. There's five lining up, but barring any mishaps, it's really a match between the two stablemates. Front-runner Enajumian likes plenty of cut in the ground, but Shakin Pourcoix gets his ground here, and is unbeaten on home soil for the last two years, so hard to oppose in the feature. 